Hey everyone, Lindsay here. I know I have not posted a video in a long, long time, but a lot has been going on in my life. Um, I went to an aesthetics program, I graduated, I have my esthetician license, I am working now. Uh, we're working on the house and I just have a lot going on right now. Let me move my camera so you don't have to see my husband's hat. It's right there. Yeah, it's right. And the lighting over here is not the greatest. You're going to see my shadow. Anyway, so it's Friday at my house. And maybe you'll see this Friday or even Saturday. But I had an idea for a Thrifty Thursday video. However, I get really busy on Thursday and couldn't do it on Thursday. So today I had the most awesome day because... I'm getting more clients at work. Um, things have been going well for us. My husband figured out the plumbing issue in the bathroom. I had a shopping spree. It was only a Dollar Tree, but that makes me so super excited. Um, and we went to Menards, which is one of my favorite stores. However, we've been there like six times in one week. So it's been a little, oh, I mean, a little overwhelmed. It's uh, uh, hard on your brain. And your nerves so anyway sorry I keep looking over there because I have this stuff I want to show you I have I went to um, Dollar Tree and I spent $40 oh my god $40 seems like a lot but in Dollar Tree you can get a lot with that I got some things for organization as well as um, some stuff that I got at Menards too um, that my aunt suggested that I get but the majority of it was from Dollar Tree so I'm gonna show you what I got because I'm super excited about this. These will all be used in my home. Um, before I show you that, um, I'm going to show you this that I got from Dollar Tree. This is a uh, ball point pen and stylus in one for a dollar. And it's pink. I thought that would kind of go with my phone. It's like a rose gold color. Even though I have a case on it, I wanted this to go with my phone. So my husband bought one, bought one for himself that's a pen stylus and laser pointer okay so first off i got these cute little containers these little box they're really interesting um they're kind of flexible but yet they're, they seem fairly sturdy you can write on them with dry erase so you can label them like right here so that way i can label that and i can take it off when i if i want to use it for something else so I got two of those. All right, next, I like these. They didn't have them in the color I wanted, but red will do. I actually have a bunch of these that I've been using in my kitchen. Um, I like these because the handle's actually quite nice. You can put them in the cabinets. I put them in my kitchen cabinets and I have them labeled. Um, then I can just pull them out with stuff in them. Like one I have like uh, mixes in like that are in packets, like uh seasonings and stuff so these are nice dollar piece again um something i found um and actually right after i found these i saw them on um uh do it on a dime i follow her vlog and she's awesome i can listen to this woman talk all day long because and her she's always so enthusiastic and her ideas are awesome so if you can search do it on a dime on YouTube here um, do it because I got a lot of inspiration from her um, these little baskets these are gray you don't see this in the Dollar Tree very often gray all different sizes of containers and uh, tr like party trays and things they had there I thought these will work great in my bathroom um, in, in my master bath because I have some grays and purples and stuff in there. So these will work. I got three of these. They're a dollar piece. If you put them, if you turn them like this, you can stack them. Isn't that nice? Let's see if I can stack one more. You won't be able to see it, but you get the idea. There we go. If I can get it to work. Ta-da! And then we turn them. They go right back inside of each other. So there's those. And there's still more. 
um, this is something I purchased. It's not really an organizational thing, but I guess it could be because it, uh, this is going to go under the rug in my entryway. I needed a new rug in there. My mother was redecorating at our salon, and there was a rug that was still in really decent shape. She was just changing up some of the colors, and it worked with my entryway. So it's great and all, but she had it over carpet, and so it didn't slide. But it's on tile, and it's slick tile in my entryway, so it doesn't want to stay. So we got this. And it was a dollar, so if it doesn't work, I'm not out that much. We have to cut cut it to fit the rug because it's an oval-shaped rug. But, I don't mind. And um, I spotted these little containers. These can be great for putting little individual snacks. I like to make uh little snack bags for my kids like we never buy lunchables or snacks that are really always individually made we we kind of buy our own snacks and we'll make our own trail mix and things like that but these are great for little putting little snacks in for your kids if you want to take condiments with you somewhere like i like to take condiments with me to work sometimes i want to make a sandwich but i don't have room in the little mini fridge at work to put large jars so this works great. I don't mind mixing my ketchup and mustard together for my burgers that I'm taking with me. So I use these. Um, these will be wonderful for that. There's 10 of them. So I'll have some to use. My husband can use some. The kids will have some for putting snacks in. Whatever you want to use them for. Um, so that'll be, that'll be something nice. And 10 of them for a dollar, you guys. That's, that's just, I can't even wrap my head around that. Um, next, I have these little baskets that came in a set of two. Uh, I had the baskets that were um, narrower. They were this length, but they were narrower, and I had my spices in them. But the baskets are a little wobbly for putting... Um, my spices in I had three of them and was pulling them out and they just wouldn't stay so I figured a bigger basket to put them all in might be better so I'll try that and then the other basket I might use in a drawer somewhere um, I have my aunt coming over Sunday she's a professional organizer and she was cleaning houses for a living but she has been like organizing her whole life and she is the best organizer that I know that I know personally I should say sorry to um, do it on a dime you are very good at organizing though I will I will give you that next I bought these drawer organizers I did see these used on do it on a dime so I checked my local Dollar Tree and I was so excited that they had them. So I had to buy them to use these because I'm so tired of all my kids stuff getting strewn about in the drawers in their bathroom and my bathroom as well. So I got a few of these so like to put their toothbrushes in. One can be for toothbrushes. These should fit and I'm hoping they'll fit side by side in the drawer. One for toothbrushes, one for toothpaste and um their dental floss and stuff like that so let's hope that works and i was hoping to use them in my drawer for stuff like that as well um and then i have the little ones to use in some of the smaller drawers actually one of these will probably go in the drawer where we keep our first aid stuff and then these i'll put little things in like actually the rolls of oh medical tape would fit in these and there's a set of two here so we got two for a dollar so I bought those to try these are very sturdy plastic you very rarely see stuff like this in the Dollar Tree but I thought that was a good buy I knew they'd be good and work great because they have this non slick stuff inside of them too so stuff can't slide around within the container okay I'm getting down to the bottom of my, my stash here okay so then my aunt suggested that I purchase some zipper bags she said to get uh gallon and quart um, yeah i hope that's what i bought here um let me look here yes gallon and quart um because you can store things in these and um 
I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do with these, but I do know you can do like a DIY vacuum bags with these and you just get all of the air out. You could do it with a straw, ladies and gentlemen. And these are a dollar per box. There are 22 bags in here and there are 10 bags in here. I realize I purchased the ones. These have a slide on them to um, seal it. These ones do not, which is fine. Either way, you can use a straw in it and you suck out the air and then you hurry up, you seal it up real fast. It's just like a vacuum bag, except you didn't spend that much. I can buy a bag of straws for a dollar. There's, I don't know, 50, 50 straws in the bag, whatever. So then my kids can use the straws. I need one straw for these. Oops, sorry. Um, and it's great. If you have a smaller vacuum attachment, you can use it for the really the bigger bags, but you really only need a straw. Okay, last but not least, I have to show you these um, totes that I purchased at Menards. They had them for $6.99. Um, here's all the lids. See, they're mostly clear. The totes themselves, can you see this? They're 40 quarts. They have colored handles for holding the lid on. That seals them shut. So these just go, the lid goes on, these clamp right on and hold the lid on. So no problem with picking them up and the lid accidentally coming off. Now, these ones are, this one's purple. I actually purchased two with purple because that is my favorite color. I'm wearing it. Um, you can't see, but the wall behind me is purple, or not behind me, the wall behind the camera is purple. Um, they had orange, green, red, blue. There were five colors. I needed six of them, so of course I had to get duplicates, which I was fine with getting an extra purple one. And then my mom called me while I was on the way home and she said, I found another clear tote for you. So I'm like, awesome. My aunt said that would be great for um, organizing things. And the clear totes make it so much easier to see through when you're packing stuff up. Um, hopefully in a later video I can kind of give you uh, kind of part of like the reasoning for my sudden urge to want to organize and clean. I have actually been purging like crazy. I can let you in on a little bit. Um, I've been uh, delving into some like minimalism lately and watching minimalist videos and I think it's just so important to only have the items that you need and the items that will bring you joy um, so that you can free up your mind for other more important things. Um, you'll have, you'll spend less time cleaning if you have less things. Um, you'll have more space to do stuff. I really, really, really want to free up time for my family. I don't want to be stressed all the time. So I feel like the minimalist life is some, something that we need to get involved in. Um, and minimalism is different for everyone. So, um, once I get all this done, I'll explain to you the whole reasoning for this and the story behind it. Um, other than wanting more time for my family, uh, and, uh, tell you a little bit about, um, some of the exciting things that have been going on in our lives. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did subscribe to my channel, also keep an eye out for my other channel, my LRO skincare, where uh, you can follow along with my new career in aesthetics. I will soon have another video up with a new facial that I'm um, getting ready to do. Um, well, not really a new facial, but something, um, a new uh, technique that I'm working on. So, with all that being said, I am getting ready for bed, and I wish you all well. Have a nice day. See ya.